Hello, welcome. My name is Anieti, and in this class, I want to introduce you to statistics and exploratory data analytics. We'll be paying attention to the Titanic data set that you can find on Cargo. I'll drop the link where you can download this particular data set. And I want to give credit to Vinicius Barbosa for making this data available for us to use. The intent of this class is to make us understand how to use statistics in our data analytics and how to explore data to understand it better. We we'll also look at how to work with missing values. So quickly, let's get to it. Now, the first thing we need to do is to download the data set. Click on download. Okay, so I have the zip file and I need to extract the zip file. So right click on it and click extract all. Click on extract. We have the file Titanic. So let me call it Titanic data set. Okay, let's just look at the data sets before we start. Okay, we have these columns. We have the P class, the survived, the name, the sex age, the siblings, the parents and children, the ticket, fare, cabin and other details. If we look at this part of the data, we we'll see the survival, the first column, the survival, zero means no one means yes, passengers, first class, second class and uh, third class. You can say high, first, um, high class, middle class and then low class. The name, the sex, the age, the number of siblings, so the SIB, SP, and the number of parents, the ticket number, the passenger fare, the cabin, and other details. The key idea in this data is to look at the factors that affect survival. One year means the person survived, zero means the person did not survive. So what are the factors that determine the survival? And for today's class, so that it's not really you know, too long or complicated, we'll look at the class. If the passenger's class affected survival, two, so we'll check if gender, had effect on survival and we'll also check if age had effect on survival. There are other areas you can look at also later but for this class I will not pay attention to them much. I will just focus mainly on the class, the sex and the age. So let's start with this. Let's begin to explore. The first thing I want to do is to understand how to work with missing values. If we come to this column, if we use filter, click on filter, we we'll discover that in the age column, we have some missing values. We have other missing values in other columns, but we'll pay more attention to the age columns or remove the filter. So how do we handle missing values in our data sets? One principle you must note is this. If the missing values is more than 30% of the entire data in the column, I will advise you to drop the column. We don't need that column in analysis. So we want to check that. We want to check the missing values first before we continue with this analysis. With this analysis. So how do you check for missing values if we meet or do not meet the thirty percent mark that we just talked about? Create another worksheet. Let's call it test. And then what we we'll do with test is use equal to, and then click on this header. Reference cell. We want to reference the different headings that we have there. Okay, so it ends with this. We'll remove this, we don't need it. So the next thing is we want to use the count blank function to locate all the missing values in that column. So we'll do count blank. I press on tab and I hit on the Titanic data set. I hit on the first column, shift control down arrow, and then press enter. So there's no missing value in the first row. We drag it to the last row. Okay, good. So in the H column, we have 263. In the cabin column, 1,000 and this. And we have in the different columns. So secondly, we want to check the, we want to check the total number of rows in the data set. Because how do we get the percentage if it's up to 30%? is equal to the blanks divided by the total number of rows. So to do get the total number of rows, we use the count function. And we do the same thing. Shift, control, down, arrow. And we press enter 1309. So from this, we can say the percentage from each column is equal to this divided by this. And if we drag it all the way down, we'll have this error on these other columns. So what we need to do, we need to lock the denominator over here. So just click on this one and then press F4. And then press enter. So if we drag it all the way down, we have the different percentages. If we change it to percentage, right click on it, click on format cell, 
and then click on percentage. So this is an indicator. Cabin column, the number of missing values is more than 77%. So we will not use it in this analysis. We'll drop it. So let me just color it red. We will not use this one, this one, and this one. We will not use them in analysis. Now the column that we pay little attention to, based on our discussion when we started, is this column. So we have identified the missing values, and we've also indicated the values we will drop 